hello friends hi welcome to the channel again quick books learning so today we will be talking about um, how to write a check and before uh, creating a check uh, let's discuss about types of check in quickbooks desktop or uh, online like how we can go and create types of checks in enterprise quickbooks that's the desktop version 24.0 let's go and see what it is so to start with uh, there are five kinds of checks we have we have sorted out five to six checks right in quickbooks which we you can create first one is the regular check which you can do it uh, it's a normal check you can pay to the uh, to the vendors to buy office supplies and all right and then the second one would be it's a bill payment check so when you are creating a bill in quickbooks you can uh, you can pay the bill from the bill option and that will automatically create a check for you and the third one is the payroll check which when you are doing a payroll you can uh, pay to your employees uh, through payroll check which actually deducts uh, uh, all kinds of taxes in the in the in the quickbooks automatically so and the fourth one is would be the sales tax payment check that is something which is uh, it's again a sales tax liability check which you pay for your vendors to pay the sales tax right you have an option in the quickbooks itself the next one would be the pay liability check pay liability check is something which you uh, paid from the uh, from the from the tax options as well from your uh, employees options as well like when you go to the payroll employees and then payroll taxes you can pay the pay liability checks from there and the next one would be the refund check you can create a check as well so just to summarize you can create checks norm it would be the normal checks like for rent and for your expenses for your utility bills and for your uh, for your rents right you can do that so these are something which you have it you can do it in in quickbooks itself so let's go and uh, talk about uh, checks how we can go and write a check here it would be the normal check which we are creating in quickbooks how we are doing it is uh, we are going to the banking option first and go to the write checks so this is the write check window uh, in the quickbooks uh, so it, first option is to uh, select what kind of uh, bank we uh, we are using to create a check here so that would be checking or savings account so let's leave it as a checking account and this is a sample file we have it and we are using it for the uh, transaction purpose it's just a test purpose uh, the next option is uh, you can see that it says check number uh, either we can go and leave it as it is or we can go and change it as well uh, or we can do we can we can do the changes later on as well so let's let's leave it as it is we are making it 492 as a check number and uh, the date date is uh, let's say let's change the date for today's date that's 29th right now it says pay to the order of to, to which uh, vendor or customer or or employee uh, you are you are creating a check for so let's select here a check for cook Brian let's say so the option we have is how much is the check amount uh, let's say hundred dollars is the check amount which we are creating the address would be the address which is already there it will pop up automatically if you have already saved the address for your vendor but if if, if the vendor is new you have to put in the you have to uh, write the address for the vendor so that it will come up automatically class if there is any class you want to assign to that we are leaving it as it is memos and account account here uh, would be let's say expense account it would be anything which is there uh, let's say office expense right 
we are creating a check for the office supplies and uh, here let's say memo is office supplies so we are copying it here pasting it to the memo here and then customer if you want to assign any customer for this check that's let's leave it as it is there now it will ask me to create a new customer if I want to let's say I'm putting the customer there and then uh, the option says at the bottom it says save and close or save uh, and new save and closes this when when i save the check it will not come up it will show up as a home uh, window and save and new is something which is there uh, and it will ask me to enter a new check like create a new check after that so we are just saving it now You can see the home page is there and now uh, the check has been created inside the QuickBooks so just to summarize how uh, and like one, one more thing which we can do here is we can just go and uh, uh, learn how we can go and see the or create uh, the, after creating a check we can go and uh, print the check right let's say let me just uh, find out the check here so let's say this is the check we are trying to print let's go to the print option check that's asking me to enter the number if you I want to change the number I can do that as well that's again a sample one so these are the type of checks which we are uh, printing now or we have an option to print it later as well one is voucher standard and wallet and uh, here we can go and select the printer of uh, our network and click on when we click on print it will help us to create the print voucher is something you will find the check uh, uh, details at the bottom and check at the top then you have three checks in one uh, in one option in one page you can do that and the wallet is something which you have it where uh, checks you can do that for 21 uh, uh, options you have it there right where you can use logos print signatures if you have assigned a signature to the check you can do that as well so this is the option we have it where we can go and do the print of the checks so let's go and close this window and make sure before doing that we can go and uh, update the quickbooks always whenever we are done with the work or at least once in a week we should do the update of quickbooks desktop and thank you very much uh, for today and uh, that's what we have learned uh, today for the checks how to create a check different checks in quickbooks and the next part would be uh, also just to remind you we have a offer going on for the online quickbooks uh, for sales offer where you will be getting a 30 percent discount for next six months uh, one month would be the free again and in total it would be the seven months right and uh, you can i will mention the link on in the, in the description where you when you when you if you want to you can sign it from there and you can get the uh, offer get this offer right so thank you very much you have a wonderful day you take care and best day bye